The Ministry of Water and Sanitation is promising to streamline water and sanitation services in the country this year, especially at the country's seat of power, Nairobi. The ministry vowing to pull all stops to ensure that there is no interference in the supply of water in the city. To this end, the minister says officials from the ministry are under instructions to be on the lookout for unscrupulous persons operating in the sector. We want to assure Nairobians that we have agreed as a team, that is the ministry, the current leadership of Nairobi Water, and also the regulator, that we sustain and ensure that no Nairobian uh, misses water because of uh, the issues that have emerged in the recent past. Addressing a media briefing in Nairobi, Water Cabinet Secretary Simon Chelugui said they are putting measures in place to ensure that the rate of non-revenue water in the city is reduced. But there are those who are uh, disrupting public supply or stealing our water, causing uh, what we call non-revenue water. And those ones we are on the watch out and we have asked uh, uh, Nairobi city to work hard and reduce that non-revenue. And by reducing non-revenue water, you're actually going to disrupt the cartels. Chiligui added that the water rationing schedule in the city will be a thing of the past as the construction of the Northern Collector Tunnel project is nearing completion. We have already had a breakthrough in Northern Collector Tunnel and in eight months, or by end of this year, the 140 million liters will be uh, availed to Nairobi city to reduce the rationing and the shortage that we have experienced. At the same time, the CS said that his ministry has invested heavily in ensuring that the aging water infrastructure around the country is rehabilitated to guarantee efficient service delivery. Total of over 100 billion investment is ongoing or has just been finished in the last three years. And we will continue doing this to ensure that Nairobians have water. For Channel One News, I am Emily K. Badi.